G'day fellas, how you going there tonight? We're up for a big one here. We've got the uh, French absinthe, the myth absinthe, 69. Pretty interesting bottle, isn't it? I don't know what you guys reckon of that. I've never seen that one before, it's a new one to Dan's. So I've got a cork bottle, and this one, um, you know, we had a look through today what they had available. They're like, you know, 55% some of them were not they? 60% some of the other things. This one's a little bit more it was the full 69 wasn't it? Yeah So we decided to try the new one I don't know if you guys had absinthe. You can have it all different ways and for me I I tried absinthe like drinking ouzo um, Uzo, I like to have it with water or with uh, maybe a little bit of mineral water and it goes cloudy and this does too and it's just like a, an Uzo which has a strange kick as well like the Zambukas they do have a bit of a kick too they're a bit of a different hit and I heard once that the original wooden vats they used for Canadian Club were made from wormwood so the old Canadian Club used to give you a real decent hit as well alright fellas, well we're going to try this absinthe cheers Robbie cheers man all the best, so those chips are nice especially with those pickled green uh, tomatoes, they're lovely alright, well there's another one I've tried the old myth absinthe. It's Tastes a bit oozo y, doesn't it? It is, isn't it? It's a bit different than the Green Fairy, isn't it? I told you they're oozo y. Really. They're, um. <clears throat> they got the similar hit. They got Thujon.